The EU has called for an immediate humanitarian pause, leading to a sustainable ceasefire in Gaza. It's the first time all 27 member states have agreed to urge both sides to stop the conflict and the unfolding catastrophe there. Member states have also called for the release of all Israeli hostages in Gaza and have reiterated the EU's condemnation of the Hamas terrorist attack in Israel on October 7th. It says Israel needs to respect international humanitarian law as an occupying power. We agree that the role played by UNRWA is essential. We call on the government of Israel not to launch a ground operation in Rafah, uh, because we can imagine what would be the consequences if such an operation would be uh, launched. And finally, we'd like to make very clear uh, that uh, we ask and we call on the respect for international law, including uh, with regard with the illegal uh, settlements. Concluding the first day of a two-day summit, leaders also discussed how to finance Ukrainian military efforts in defending their country from Russian aggression. Varying proposals are on the table, including capital from the European Investment Bank and using profits from frozen Russian assets. Indeed, there's a strong support uh, to use um, at the moment being the um, windfall profits or proceeds of the uh, immobilized assets for military purposes for Ukraine. And um, I told the leaders that if we are swift now in uh, concluding the proposal, we could disperse the first billion on the 1st of July already. In an historic announcement, the EU has also agreed to open membership negotiations with Bosnia. And today, Friday, there'll be a clearer discussion about the imposition of tariffs on Russian grain into the European Union. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.